ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट द बॉल हैज अ वेट ऑफ 15 पाउंड एंड इज फिक्स्ड टू अ रॉड हैविंग अ नेग्लिजिबल मास इफ इट इज रिलीज्ड फ्रॉम रेस्ट व्हेन थीटा इक्वल्स टू 0 डिग्रीज डिटरमाइन द एंगल थीटा एट व्हिच द कंप्रेसिव फोर्स इन द रॉड बिकम 0 so we have to find that angle theta at which the force in the rod uh, is equal to 0 so again we have to solve this problem uh, by using the law of conservation of energy so initially the ball was released when theta was equal to 0 so this is let's say initially the ball was somewhere here when theta was 0 right so this is the initial position so let's say that this is the state e of this uh, ball right and let's define our datum right so let's say here is my datum line or let's say that uh, uh, let's say here is my datum line this is my datum line and if i apply if i write the law of conservation of energy then that will be let's say this is the state b of this ball so the law of conservation of energy will be ta plus potential energies at a equals to the kinetic energy at b plus potential energies at b since we are at datum line so the work done due to the weight will be equals to zero since we haven't uh, we the the displacement traveled from the datum line is zero right since the work done due to the weight is always equal to weight times the change in y or the change in the vertical position so the change in vertical position is zero at datum right so the work done due to the weight is zero and the kinetic energy is also equal to zero since it is said that it is released from rest so at a the velocity is zero and the work done due to the weight the gravitational potential energy is also zero so that is equal to the kinetic energy at point b so the kinetic energy at point b is 1 divided by 2 mass times uh, v square let's say at b the velocity is v so the uh, weight is 15 so the mass is 15 divided by 32.2 into v square the velocity at b is v so the gravitational potential energy at point b is let me write that the gravitational potential energy at point b is again that weight times the change in the vertical position so now initially the ball was here and at b the ball is here so this is the change in y the change in the vertical position this is the change in y so we have to find this change in y to find the gravitational potential energy at point b so the weight we know that the weight is 15 and the change in y so if this is some arbitrary angle theta and this length is 3 feet so initially let's say this is point o so initially uh, oa length is 3 feet and then let's say that this point is let's say b so we can write that let me write that oa or we can say that ob plus ob plus this change in y this is <clears throat> equal to oa and as we know that <clears throat> oa is equal to the length of the rod right so this is 3 and ob ob is unknown and delta y is unknown so delta y the change in the vertical position is 3 minus ob and we can find ob if this is 3 feet and if this is some arbitrary angle then ob is 3 cos of theta so we can write that the change in the vertical position of the ball from a to b is uh, 3 minus ob is 3 cos of theta so we can say that this is 3 1 minus cos of theta so this is the change in the vertical position so now we can write the uh, gravitational potential energy at point b is and as we can see if this is our datum line so the 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 y value uh, in the upward direction will be positive and in the downward direction that is negative so the gravitational potential energy uh, when the ball is moving downward is negative right so we can write that this is minus and this is this will be 15 times this change in y so this is the gravitational potential energy at point b and this is 15 times this so this is 15 times 3 into 1 minus cos of theta so this is that gravitational potential energy at point b so i will write that this is minus 15 into 
into 1 minus cos of theta or we can say that this is 1 divided by 2 or let me write this as 15 divided by 2 into 32.2 v square and 15 into 3. This is 15 into 3 and 1 minus cos of theta. And now if I bring this term to the other side of equation, this is equal to 0 or we can say that this whole equation is equal to 0 like this. So if I bring this uh, term to the other side, so it will become positive. We will have the equation like this. And now if we divide both sides of equation by 15, so we will be left with this equation. This is 1 divided by this. So now from this we can write that v square is equal to if I cross multiply so this is 3 into 2 into 32.2 into 1 minus cos of theta. So this is 6 into 32.2 so 6 into 32.2 this is 193.2 so v square equals to 193.2 into 1 minus cos of theta. So now if we consider the free body diagram of this ball at point B, let's see if I draw the free body diagram. So here we will have the compressive force, that compressive force of the rod, let's say this is Fc and the weight of the ball is acting downward, this is the weight, this is 15 pounds and if, if we have this theta with the vertical, so we will have that same angle theta here and if I define my coordinate system, if I uh, consider the normal and tangential coordinate, so the normal uh, axis is going to act in this direction, this is our normal axis towards the center and this is our tangential direction. So now if I apply the summation of forces along the normal axis is equals to, so that will be equal to m a n. So, as we can see that the, uh, since we want to find the angle theta at which the compressive force in the rod becomes 0, so this Fc is equal to 0, so we can say that there is no Fc. So, we are only left with the, the component of the weight along the normal axis. So, we will have this component, this is 15 cos of theta and this is acting in the positive end. So, I will write 15 cos of theta and there is no other component in the normal direction. So this will be equal to the mass, mass is again 15 pounds divided by g value which is 32.2 and a n is, we know that a n is v square divided by the radius of curvature at point B or at that point where we want to find uh, that, that angle theta. So this is v square divided by rho. Now we know v square, this is 193.2, so this is 193.2 into 1 minus cos of theta and the radius of curvature is 3 feet, right. So we can say that this is 3. Now if we divide both sides of equation by 15, so this will cancel out and 193.2 divided by this, this is 193.2 divided by 32.2 into 3 so this gives us 2, right. So this is, we can simplify this further, this is 2, 2 into this thing or we can write that cos of theta equals to 2 minus 2 cos of theta and if I bring this 2 cos of theta to this side, so that will become positive. So we can write that 2 cos of theta plus cos of theta. So this is 3 cos of theta, 3 cos of theta equals to 2 or we can say that cos of theta equals to 2 divided by 3 and theta is cos inverse 2 divided by 3. So cos inverse 2 divided by 3. So this gives us 48.19 theta, 48.19 degrees. So now from this we can conclude that when the ball covers an angle of 48.19 degrees from this initial state, so the compressive force in the rod will become zero. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people will find this helpful. 
in your studies if it helps in your learning do like this video and subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics